So Cornerstone was started in 2009. Pastor wanted us to give children an outlet to be productive and to not get into trouble in the summer months. And so that's where Cornerstone was founded. The thing I'm most proud about with Cornerstone Camp is our testimonial of the young people that have come through the camp. We have so many young people that have been a part of the camp now doing so well in their professional lives. And their stories all begin at Cornerstone. 2011, we started to hire a staff of fully certified educators to facilitate academic time. 45 minutes of math, 45 minutes of ELA every day. If you ask me about my favorite part of summer camp, I'll tell you the field trips, but there's academic hour, well, two hours. During these two hours, we will learn different skills to prepare us for the upcoming school year. My whole approach to teaching is, you know, just basically listening, following directions and doing your best. Because a lot of times these kids don't want to do their best. They just want to do enough to get done. We learned that numbers can be written in four different ways. Standard form, expanded form, drawing place value blocks, and in words. I had the joy of working with the first and second graders, so we worked a lot with the foundational skills and learning how to read. We know our vowels, A-E-I-O-U. They say the short sound and the long sound. One day we even did therapy. So we did how to meditate and how to breathe. So I wanted to not give them just academics. I wanted to give them some trivia, some things that they may be able to take out and use when they leave us. To me, this is the most important part of the camp because you can do anything you want to do, but education is the key to success. In today's world, STEM is a very vital part, right? From communication to entertainment, to healthcare, to just our everyday parts of life, right? The fun thing about the partnership with NIWIC is kids get exposed to something that is not even on their mind, but that could become a potential career for them. So with STEM, one of the things that we wanted to do this year is teach them the critical skills that they may need. That's critical thinking, creativity, communication, confidence, and how they can use that in everyday life. We are trying to show your children another way. You know, get them out of the house, take them to places, and, and just get, introduce them to other things. Not all kids get to go to Columbia to the largest children's museum in the Southeast. Not all kids, you know, even get to go to places like Sky Zone, the fun places around town because they're expensive. So I wanted to expose kids to different settings, some of which are educational, some aren't. But I think that when we expose kids to more than what is their norm, it opens up the possibilities to, I can be this, I can do this, or even this, this exists. I've always thought dance was something for young women that, you know, really, really, really was a confidence thing. Because you got to think of how a dancer dresses and moves. And if you're not secure with your body, that's a hard thing to do. So I've always pushed for dance. And I've, I'm going to put my girls in dance because I think that that's important that they become confident in their bodies, whatever shape it is. Think about how many kids are exposed to martial arts. Not very many, but we're thankful for that partnership with Mount Pleasant Martial Arts. We did learn some basic techniques, you know, self-defense, kicking, punching. Uh, we try really hard to build the confidence, but I think the most important thing we focus in the class is respect. I thank you all for allowing us to pour into your children and to our donors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because without you, this wouldn't be possible. Every dime that we raise every year, we pour it 100% back into the camp. So some people may think that's an irresponsible business model, but it's not been a business for us. We are so grateful. And we want you to know that without each of you, this would never be possible. When you think of giving and where you want to spend your resources and what organizations you want to give to, please remember Cornerstone and what we're doing here and how we're changing lives. 
and how you would want to be a part of making our community, our country, a better place to live.